What effect will the new Xbox quote-unquote exclusive strategy have on the next Xbox hardware? Do you think Microsoft is trying to make it as similar as possible to the next PlayStation, or are they trying to differentiate from Sony? What could be the differentiator? Um, well, this one's quite inter interesting. We kind of touched on it earlier. And basically, I just think you should go and look at everything Phil Spencer and Sarah Bond have said about, um, about Next Generation, and more specifically their views on what the Xbox ecosystem actually is. And, um, you know, I think the biggest giveaway has been Phil saying that he wants to see um, competing stores available on the uh, on an Xbox console, which basically means, you know, it really does strongly indicate a much closer association with PC and not really. And that would be the differentiating factor with um, PlayStation, right? You know, I think it kind of makes sense to kind of bring together Xbox and PC development, make it closer than ever before. It makes sense to improve the Xbox experience on PC because it's really not great at the moment. Something which, from a handheld perspective, they've already admitted to. Um, so I don't think that Microsoft are actually thinking about Sony at all. And I actually think one of the reasons for that is that there's probably a lot of evidence for Sony thinking, well, maybe we should be making our P our hardware um, closer to PC anyway, because we really need to sell a lot of games on PC in order to recoup our development costs. Mm -hmm. All options are at the table at this point, as we've got no idea when this new hardware is going to appear. But I just think that the you know the number one message that I'm getting from Phil Spencer from his uh, recent interview is that we should expect change. And that's going to be fundamental change across the whole board. Our expectations of what we should want from a console, expect from a console, are going to change. And John's talked about this before, but what Valve has done with Steam Deck is absolutely fascinating. That is a PC, right? It's a PC built on Linux. You can access Linux on it. But... Um, what you have got is an experience that's built to be console-like and it works. You've got both the best of both worlds. I think that's fantastic. Right. Um, Alex. I also feel like aligning with PC, uh, is just the route forward. If they were looking at Sony, the differentiation there is just really big. Uh, you know, this, like this PS5, it can watch like 4k Blu-rays. Uh, there's a YouTube app maybe on it, but it is not a PC, right? But if you had an Xbox that was PC as well as a dedicated gaming machine with a different, like, much more game-orientated version of Windows on it, or just the new Windows is maybe has this option, well, then I feel like that is such a more interesting buy uh, and differentiating factor. Um, uh, I also think it, um, uh, leads to maybe just like an interesting hardware question. Like they can maybe branch out and do different things more. I think it solves the issue also for Microsoft of, I think they're having issues with ports to a certain right. degree. You're quite right. Mm -hmm. I mean, Sony are never going to port, um, to an Xbox console and, you know, barring some, right. you know, huge intervention or, or change in strategy. But, right. you know, if it is essentially a Windows machine that's capable of running um, other stores, they'll, those you know, it'll just happen. Yeah. So you'll be playing God of War on your Xbox next. And you'll also be not having the weird issue of you not playing Black Myth Wukong this weekend, right? Mm. You, you also wouldn't have the weird issue where, like, the port is, like, undercooked on Xbox, versus the other versions maybe hitably undercooked on the pc version well that's uh, the but... question we have to address right that's the quick you know the big issue for me is that there are clear issues you've highlighted them multiple times that that happen on pc that may or may not happen on console but there are definitely console sorry pc specific problems that really do need to be comprehensively addressed yeah and uh i think that requires microsoft using a strong arm on DirectX and or just, I don't know how the, the way you do it, just like fixing certain things that are inherent to PC's current issues uh, that really shouldn't be there. And I'm a little embarrassed by Microsoft in this aspect, like just reading that like Ryzen performance has been partially affected by Windows issues recently. Mm. Like, like, I don't know, that makes me just like 
But isn't Microsoft the one, like the guardian of their own platform? Why is it so, why is it so tumultuous? Uh, so yeah, I, um, I, if they are doing this route, that means Windows and Xbox integration needs to be so much tighter and their focus on actual usable performance on Windows has to be razor. It has to be like just as good as they're doing on console, you know? So. Yeah, the, the alternative to this is kind of, you know, what you might call dual boot, you know, like everybody kind of wants a Windows partition on their Steam Deck. And, Mac. and then there's <laughs> like a, uh, you know, your, your, your standard um, uh, Steam uh, sort of division of that of that drive as well but that i don't think that would work i think that's kind of like a hack that can only go badly wrong it's really. not a unified vision also for the future it's like windows and then you turn on the gaming part i don't know if that's so mm. interesting at that point actually okay. yeah any thoughts on this one oliver i mean i completely agree with what you've said so far i think flexibility has to be the differentiator i think that probably does involve some level of pc integration could also involve that new handheld that Phil loves to tease that presumably may or may not be coming. Um, but ah. it was pop, you know, may might be coming, who knows? Or maybe it's a third party integration, who knows? But something with handhelds, presumably. Um, but I think exactly how much faith you have in that concept depends on how much faith you have in Windows. And I don't have a lot of faith in Windows, <laughs> I guess. Same. I do have a lot of faith in Xbox. I think Xbox <laughs> OSs are great. From the user perspective, I think Windows is, is not good. Uh, I've not used Windows as my daily driving operating system in 15 years. So I hope that maybe we can get some of the stuff of Windows that maybe works and not the interface that does not work for home console games at all. I mean, I just installed um, Bazite on my ROG Ally to get the SteamOS yeah. on there. And it's just a world apart in terms of the feature set. So if they can deliver a console version of Windows in the same way that the Steam OS and Bazite deliver a console version of Linux, then I think that's mm -hmm. great.